and good afternoon. Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues in the Parliament, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to sponsor the appropriations bill that will enact the government of the day's proposed Bangsamoro expenditure program BEF BEP for the fiscal year 2020. Before I, before I go further into my sponsorship speech, allow me to thank my cabinet for the cooperation and perseverance they have given throughout the budget process, particularly to the Minister, Ministry of Finance, Budget and Management, who is spearheaded this difficult process. The ministry, led by Minister, Honorable Minister Edward Guerra, was able to complete this important document without the, the luxury of time and existing basis, given that it is the first time that we prepare such budget proposal. proposal. Pursuant to the provisions of RA 11.054, this would have not been possible if not for the assistance provided by the Department of Budget and Management, DBM, and Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. I would also like to express my gratitude to the technical team and the rank and file employees who work so hard and well on their respective ministries and offices budget. Marami pong salamat sa inyong lahat. The proposed Bangsamoro expenditure program is not just a document. It is a significant step towards realizing our struggle to achieve genuine fiscal autonomy in the region. As we all know, the Bangsamoro Organic Law, BOL, provides for an annual block grant which we automatically appropriated to the General Appropriations Act. Furthermore, the BOL requires that the Parliament shall pass an annual appropriations law allocating the black grant to various agencies and programs according to the powers and functions of the Bangsamoro government. This is section 19, article 12 of the Bangsamoro organic law. Mr. Speaker and esteemed colleagues, this is what we are going to do starting today and I expect your utmost support to this important legislation. I trust that you are aware of the urgency of passing the 2020 budget. At this point, Mr. President, Speaker, allow me to highlight some of the salient aspects of the Bangsamore Expenditure Program. Mr. Speaker and esteemed colleagues, the budget allocated for personal services is well within the 45% ceiling that is provided under the BOL. There was never any doubt that we will meet the statutory requirements and limitations provided by the law. The only challenge is to have a budget 
that would spur a progressive and people first Bangsamoro government and to translate this into tangible outcomes for our people towards this end, we have crafted a Bangsamoro expenditure program consistent with our 12-point priority agenda and our call for moral governance. Also consistent with the BOL, the education sector through the Ministry of Basic Higher and Technical Education will get the largest share in the 2020 budget, which is at the uh, at pesos 19 billion. No Bangsamoro child will be left behind, inshallah. This is a tall order, but an order we are willing to face nonetheless because the Bangsamoro government recognizes and affirms that our children are the key to the achievement of culture of peace and societal development in the Bangsamoro. Consistent with our 12-point priority agenda, we have also allotted around 500 million to help in the rehabilitation and recovery of Marawi City with the hope that our brothers and sisters there can finally attain a sense of healing. We will continue to provide housing units and implement special programs to address needs of our affected brothers and sisters. The said amount is on top of the allocation that other ministers may have from Marawi. Mr. Speaker, we are also aware that there are currently pending bills in the Parliament for the creation of offices which are all pursuant to the provision of the BOL. In view of this and other needs, we have allocated around 9 billion to the Miscellaneous Personal Benefits Fund, MPBF. This is to ensure that should the time come that these new offices are established, we would have the necessary funds for the staffing and other budgetary needs that this office may need are also large in the contingency fund provided in the Bangsamoro expenditure program. Through the stronger fiscal provisions of the BOL and through the enactment of this budget, we will be able to cure one of the main structural problems of the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao, ARMM, that made it difficult for the previous regional government to address the, stra the struggles and aspirations of our people. Gone are the days when we needed to defend and lobby to the House of Representatives and the Senate just to have our budget approved. Gone are the days when we tirelessly work on our proposals only to see it is last significantly. Gone are the days when we were at the mercy of congressmen, senators, and other national officials and agencies. Gone are the days when the Bangsamoro needed to beg for money from the national government. Mr. Speaker, colleagues in the parliament, the Bangsamoro expenditure program is essentially the first real budget of the Bangsamoro government. Since the turnover and inauguration of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, Barm, 
we have been operating on the budget we inherited from the previous ARMM. Its amount is far from the compilation, computation of the black grant as provided in the BOL. Furthermore, the ARMM budget has already been programmed, making it difficult for us to implement new and major programs consistent with our priority agenda and our call for moral governance. The enactment of our first budget will solve this problem, inshallah, and with this, we should demand the best from ourselves in implementing our first real budget, inshallah. As we deliberate on this important legislation, let us not take for granted the price we had to pay for gaining meaningful fiscal autonomy. Mr. Speaker, esteemed colleagues, let us all remember that behind these numbers are the tears, sweat, and blood of our people. I am confident that the proposed Bangsamoro expenditure program will give justice to the sacrifices of the Bangsamoro people and the development of our homeland. Thank you, and wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.